Alright folks, this is like the hundredth time I tried to record this, so if it doesn't work this time, I'm going to take this laptop out of the forge and smelt it into a brick. Welcome back to the forge, welcome back to Blood, Sweat, and Steel. My name's Chris. How y'all doing today? Anyway, if you're new here, uh, hi. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> anyway, um... Those of you who've been around a while are going to notice that I'm back to the old uh, post-production voiceover style of video, uh, which is very different from my last one, which I'm very happy, which I'm, which was a hell of a lot of fun. If you missed it, uh, the amazing Alvine Green was kind enough to swing by the forge, and uh, she and I had a chat and uh, U.S. versus Australia slang showdown. And uh, she did an outstanding job of kicking my Yankee Doodle ass from the other side of the planet. So, if you get a chance, if you haven't seen it yet, go and check out that video. But this video is a VR response to Tia Kennedy's video, a recent video. Not her last video, but a recent one. Um, Magic isn't like Harry Potter. Now, if you, uh, if you saw that video... If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it in the description here, and uh, so that y'all can find it more easily, because she is an outstanding witch from Canada, and uh, she raises a very good point. And I wish she'd done this video when I was a beginner, because well, I'm still a beginner, but when I was first starting out, <coughs> and. Uh, she explains that. Um, yeah, we're a lot of times people think that magic doesn't work because they don't get that big, uh, big showy Harry Potter moment. And uh, yeah, no, she's right. It doesn't work that way. Magic does not work that way. Uh, she's she describes it as being a subtle art, and she's correct. <laughs> uh, it is very subtle, but she does pose the question that I wanted to respond to. Like, have you ever done a spell and then? wondered well was that the spell or was it a coincidence and the answer for my part is yeah all the damn time basically every spell I've ever done but I have one particular example for y'all um, those who've gotten to know me a little bit will know that I used to be an over-the-road long-haul truck driver and uh, one of the many 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 problems plaguing the trucking industry in the US is an utter lack of parking or at least an utter lack of sufficient parking um, and this is why you'll that if you're ever driving on the interstate at night you're going to see about a mile of uh, trucks parked on the on-ramp and off-ramp of the interstates that's because they don't have any other choice there's nowhere to go and that's not a safe place so I got sick and tired of this bullshit and decided that, well, other truck drivers are pissed off with this problem, but this one's a witch. So this one's going to do about it, do something about it. And I did some of my, some spell work, which I, if we have time at the end of the video, I'll explain a style of spell crap that <laughs> I'm actually rather fond of when I don't have an anvil. Obviously, I prefer my anvil, but this... If we have time, I'll explain uh, how I did this particular spell. But this spell was worded, well, the intention of this spell was to find a safe place to park at the end of the day. Well, safe is the key word here. It's the reason why I don't know if the spell did or did not work. So, West Memphis is notoriously bad at parking um, there's only a couple there's a couple of truck stops they're always full but I've been there so I do a proper trip plan right I do know how to trip plan my trip so at the beginning of the day I knew when I was going to be where and when and about how many hours I would have I, I knew that I would be West Memphis when I ran out of hours you're only allowed to drive a certain amount of hours during the day <laughs> So I knew where I'd be when I ran out. And, <clears throat> and true to my trip plan, that's where I was. 
right around the West Memphis area. In fact, right in West Memphis. And I knew what truck stop I wanted to go to. And I had done the spell in the morning. Woke up. Peed behind the tire. Came back in the truck. And did my spell. The way I did my spell was I strip all the all the sheets and covers off of my mattress. Trucks, trucks have a, a bunk in the back of them. And you sleep in the truck. So I stripped all the covers off the mattress. Put fresh sheets on. Fitted sheets. Blanket. You know, the whole... You know the bedding, and during this time, I concentrated on what I wanted, which was a safe place to park at the end of the day. And well, that's I guess I don't have to explain how I did the spell. Now I use the mattress as basically a pulpit for myself. Um, it's it's sympathetic magic, but it's also talismanic. It's weird. I'm not entirely sure how to classify it, but it's what I do when I don't have an anvil. So. I do the spell for a safe place to park at the end of the day and I get to West Memphis and I'm out of hours and there's no parking spaces available. Piss me off. Now I have to drive and sure enough before I find some place to park that is safe I'm out of hours. And I have to continue driving out of hours because there's nowhere to park until I get to a rest area that's well away from West Memphis. And I'm mad because not only is there not, not only am I out of hours, but I'm also missing out on a shower and a hot meal that I wanted at the truck stop. Truck stops do have showers. They also have laundry facilities, which is why truck drivers try to park there whenever we can. But we very often can't. And this time I could not. So give me a second here, folks. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Right, where was I? Right, at the rest stop house, well outside of Miss Memphis, out of hours, pissed off, with no shower and no hot meal. Right, so, so I'm thinking, spell didn't work. <clears throat> I ran out of hours, I didn't get parked, even though I was parked now. And, uh, I wasn't happy. And I wrote the spell off as a failure. You know, so I went to bed. Well, this is where the safe part of safe place to park comes into play. Because at that rest area, I was well away from Memphis and away from all the riffraff. And it wasn't for hmm, about a year later or something, I got wind that that, act that particular truck stop has a bad reputation for crime. And it's well known for truckers get mugged or robbed, and in some cases attacked, and feller about a year ago had gotten attacked and beaten and robbed so safe place to park was not available where I was when I ran out of hours so you could argue in both directions here right you could argue that that truck stop was not an available safe place and therefore the spell worked even though I ran out of hours or because I ran out of hours and didn't get my shower and didn't get my hot meal that the spell was a failure <clears throat> that the spell failed because I did not succeed in my objective meaning parked at the end of the day but I was safely parked well away from trouble did the spell work? did it fail? I actually don't know I've debated that a couple of times I don't have the answer, but I'd be interested in hearing y'all's thoughts and what y'all might think <coughs> might think uh, would be the case. But I think this is a pretty good example of what T is talking about because if it did work, it did it subtly and it didn't do it in a way that was ideal for me. So, let me know. I'd be interested in hearing t hearing from you, Tia, if you're inter if you if you don't mind. Um, does this sound about like what you're talking about? Because it seems about similar to me. Anyway, 
um, I hope to catch y'all in the next video. That's going to be a while. Uh, I'm very bad at consistency. I'm, I'm not consistent at all. So, let me know what y'all think. And, uh, maybe take that into, take that into, take it into consideration the next time you, uh, write a spell off. Because magic doesn't work like that. Anyway, y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video. See you back in the forge. And, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.